Hi guys, this is my Hoya Pachiclada, and I hope you enjoy the rest of my plant vlog. You're gonna hit the like, subscribe, and of course the bell so you're notified every single time I do upload a new video. All of my social media accounts are in the description section, so if you wanna connect, check that out. Everything that I'm using for this plant will be in the description section as well. So do check that out if you are curious and interested in what I do use, including equipment and what I add in the water. So here she is, like a close up, and currently she has one, two, three, four, five leaves. I did just get her. She has no indication that she might be having any new growth. Again, I just got her. I did clean the leaves. I just watered her. Um, so what I've noticed is after the first watering and um, putting them in stuff watering pods and in pond is they get very, very thirsty and that's okay. Um, I think you just gotta pay attention if you are new to pond. I am very, very new to pond. Um, I am not very new to self watering. So that is just a tip in my opinion because um, after the first watering, when they go the second, third, however um, ongoing, they will acclimate more. So if in case after the first watering, they get very, very thirsty in like four or five, six days, that doesn't really mean that in after the second watering, it'll be the same. What I've noticed with some of um, my other ones in the beginning, they need to be replenished again in like five, six, seven days. And after the first watering, it's like between eight to 12 days. So it just depends. Um, I This will be placed in an east facing window and um, her root system is only up to here and I did that on purpose. Um, it was really long but um, I was able to maneuver it and so because it's up to here I'm going to have to test her out and see how long it's going to um, get the water level to go to the minimum and have an alert for that one. I, um, the reason that she is a little bit tipped over is just how she is growing. That's, I, I want her to grow, um, uh, for me a little straighter. That was my son. Um, so anyway, uh, from just very recent previous experience in regards to pond and Hoyas, um, I try as much as possible to keep like a space up there because if you bury it a little too deep, um, I think it's just due to pond sometimes they can actually just rot they can just start to die like that that's my personal experience very recently and so the root system I'm gonna try and move a little bit if you guys so I could show you there's a little bit of root right there um, there's just one tiny layer on the top for my pond again I do do my own homemade pond and the reason for that is it was out of stock when I started to want to switch and secondly I want to provide my own mix of fertilizer and supplements and um, when you buy it from Lechuza Pond there, it does come with a six month slow release and that's it after that and I don't really like that I prefer to have my own so I do know what I am providing for my plant what, what works the best so that is it um she will not be getting extra humidity but when it comes to soft watering or semi hydro um and due to you know this the rocks i would also recommend do not use coco core um all-purpose potting soil or um cactus soil in regards to soft watering semi hydro a lot of people have used that and these pots actually come with coco core itself i do not recommend that and the reason for that is it will actually rot your soil regardless of the fact that they claim it's just coco core it'll be okay i've had personal experience with that it does not work um for me what i would recommend if you want to do semi hydro or um if you want to do self watering i would recommend something chunky like my personal experience has been with orchid bark and pond. I have never tried Lika. I don't know how that works. Some people get it to work for them. So I would, um, I would, if you want to do your own research, go ahead and do that. But so far, I'm okay with my orchid bark and my pond. Some of my plants have are actually have acclimated in pond, and they have actually started some new growth. So you know, it's a trial and error and learning, um, learning from my mistakes. And I don't want anybody else to fail and have their plants to die or rot on them so just be very careful as well um east facing window i do not add extra humidity there is a built-in humidifier in our home and that is i believe 
45, sometimes we put it a little bit higher, but that is only ongoing if the air or the heat is running. If it is not, then it is not going, I don't provide any extra for this particular plant, so there is no extra for that. Um, I can't really tell you how to get this plant to thrive or survive or grow in any kind of other substrate other than pond. I don't know. I have no experience. This is my first time to do this with this particular plant. This is my first time to see a pachiclata, actually. I always see it. It was just there, and I just wanted to add something, and there it is. <laughs> it was just like, if I got it, I got it. If I didn't, I did I wasn't really like, I wasn't looking for... I wasn't looking for this. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, if you haven't seen my other um, videos, I will link them up above, including the unboxing for this particular plant. Anything else, guys, let me know down in the comment section below. I love hearing from you guys all the time. Thank you guys so much. And um, also, before I forget, if it is in the darker days, I will provide um, LED plant light, and I will provide the link down below. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye. Bye.